Okay, let's go. So Kunz's question it says that a plank AB has length 6 meters and mass 30 kg. Now according to this one, the point C is on the plank with CB equals 2 meters. Okay, before we carry on, let's go ahead and draw this plank here. So let's assume the plank looks a bit like this. So just a long one. So we'll call this A and B. We know that it's 6 meters long and what do we know? Do we know it's uniform? Uh, da, da, da. Yes, the plank is modeled as a uniform rod, so it is. This means that the center mass is bang in the middle, and it's of course a mass of 30 kg, so 30 g, and a distance of 3 meters away from A and B. Now we also know there's another thing at uh, point C, so point C is, is 2 meters away from B, so it's somewhere around here, and um, let's call this C. And two meters away from B, so it's practically four meters away from A. The idea is that I'm always going to take moments around A because it's easier. Now the plank, the plank rests in equilibrium in a horizontal position on the supports A and C. So we've got supports there, meaning there's some sort of reaction going on. Now before I carry this on, I want to see if the reactions have any values. And yes, if you look at this line here, the plank remains horizontal and in equilibrium with the magnitude of the reaction at C five times the magnitude reaction A. So if, if the magnitude of A will say R, then C would be five times R. Okay, that's cool. Now let's carry on where we left off. So two people, each of mass 75, stand on the plank. One person stands at point P, where AP is X, and the other person stands at Q, where AQ is 2X. So let's just say, I don't know, one guy is over here, yeah? So let me just change the color of this. So we got, one guy x meters away and he weighs uh, 75 g's and another one say let's say over there again 75 g and the distance here is 2x and now we can just resolve um, vertically yeah so resolve to find the value r and then take moments about a to find pretty much x so let's do that so first you're resolving upwards we can say that we've got r plus 5r which is 6r and now resolving downwards we've got 75 plus 75 plus 30 which is the 180 g's this means that r must be equal to divide by 6 and you should get 30 g's all right so that's one bit done now the easy bit well that's easy bit now the next easy bit is to take moments about a the key idea of why we take about a is that you can instantly say that the, um, the sum of all the, the moments going upwards is equal to the moments going downwards. And trust me, this is the easiest way if you want to just solve it without making as many mistakes or to reduce the error, yeah? So and another thing is if you resolve A, we can cancel out this, this point, this, this entire force upwards because it's at the same point. So the distance is zero since R times zero is zero. Now let's do this. So first things first, going to 5R, what is it? It's going to be 4 meters across, so 4 times 5R will give us um, 20R. And well, R is is uh, 30, so 20 times 30 is 300, is 600, so it'll be 600 Gs. Now, as for the downwards, it's going to be first things first, so X, um, where's my mouse? X times, uh, what's it, 75, which will be 75 GX plus if you go up to 30g it will be 3 times 30 so 90g and lastly if you go all the way up to 75g it will be 2x times that so it will be 150gx's and that's cool now you just tidy up and just solve for x so oh yeah and you can cancel the g's as well so every single g's can vanish bang 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 so yeah subtracting 90 you get 510 Collect like term 75 150x gives you 225x's and finally x must equal 510 over 225 and just smash in your calculator so 510 over 225 I got 34 over 15 and just to know what that looks like 34 over 15 that's about um, 2.26 recurring there's six parts recurring yep 
um, meters. So x is actually so. I'd, so I made a fair assumption. X is just before the 30g. Okay. Okay. Now this one's uh, one of those typical state that questions. So let's have a look at this wordy problem. So state two ways in which you have used the assumptions made in modeling the plank as a uniform rod. Well, two words, uniform and rod. So as a rod, we can say that this rod is straight, as you can see, or not, my one's kind of bendy. But usually you've got to say that the rod does not bend, it's straight, it's rigid. So that's one of the major things. The second thing is the fact that it's uniform. This implies that the midpoint is actually in the center. So this is quite, quite clear. Um, looking at the mark scheme, I'm going to open up as well actually, so to see more options. It states that uniform mass is or acts at a midpoint of plank. So that's quite clear. I'll take this definition. Or well, the center of mass is at the middle of a plank. So something that acts that, that implies that uniform means, in terms of rows, that, 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 the, that the center of the mass is bang in the center or in the midpoint. As for the rod, it just means that it does not bend, must be straight, because of course, if, it, if it's bent, then the center mass could be elsewhere, is inflexible, is rigid. I would use pretty much that the rod is straight and does not bend, probably rigid too. And yeah, that's really it. So let's move on to the next one.